This is how Jesus looks in the book of Revelation. And I heard behind me a loud voice like the sound of a trumpet saying, Write on a scroll what you see in this revelation and send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus and to Smyrna and to Pergamum and to Thyatira and to Sardis and to Philadelphia and to Laodicea. Then I turned to see the voice that was speaking with me, and after turning I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the midst of the lampstands I saw someone like the Son of Man, dressed in a robe reaching to his feet, and with a golden sash wrapped around his chest. This was it. John had seen the Son of Man, the honoured Jesus Christ. John describes the loud voice as heard as distinct and striking as the sound of a trumpet. The powerful voice is that of the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, who stands at the beginning and the end of everything. Because Jesus identified himself with these names in Revelation 1.18, we know this was the loud voice of Jesus. The first and the last is a title that belongs to the Lord, Yahweh, the God of Israel. The title Alpha and Omega has the same idea as first and last. This is one of the New Testament passages where Jesus clearly claimed to be God. We can only imagine what went through John's mind as he turned. The sound of the voice he heard most likely did not match up perfectly with the way he recalled Jesus' voice sounding. John described it as of a trumpet, Revelation 1.10. However, he was aware that it was Jesus because of the voice's description of itself as the Alpha and Omega. After spending so much time with Jesus throughout his ministry on earth, John finally had the opportunity to meet him face to face after all these years. The robe and girdle may evoke images of the high priest from the Bible, and they may also imply that Jesus is the high priest for his people. The only other occurrence of girdles in Revelations is 15.6, also golden, where it is priestly imagery for angels in the heavenly temple. Revelation 15.6 And the seven angels who had the seven plagues, afflictions, calamities, came out of the temple, arrayed in linen, pure and gleaming, and wrapped around their chests were golden sashes. This vision is very reminiscent of Daniel 10, 5-6. I raised my eyes and looked, and behold, there was a certain man dressed in linen, whose loins were girded with a belt of pure gold of Euphaz. Thus, Jesus appears not only as a king but as a priest, a combination of images that grew familiar to Jewish people in the Maccabean period. John then continues, His head and his hair were white like white wool, glistening white like snow, and his all-seeing eyes were flashing like a flame of fire piercing into my being. His feet were like burnished white-hot bronze, refined in a furnace, and his voice was powerful like the sound of many waters. Revelations 1.14-15 this description of his eyes is similar to the narrative that we get of an angel in the book of Daniel. Daniel 10.6 His eyes also was like beryl, with a golden luster. His face had the appearance of lightning. His eyes were like flaming torches, his arms and his feet like the gleam of burnished bronze. And the sound of his words was like the noise of a multitude, of people or the roaring of the sea. This description of his limbs is similar to the narrative that we get of an angel in the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel 1.7, Amplified Bible. Their legs were straight, and the soles of their feet were like a calf's hoof, and they sparkled and gleamed like shiny bronze. The angelic characteristics that appear in John's visions of Jesus do not bring him down to the same level as angels. Rather, they most likely serve to emphasize Jesus' immense grandeur, he cannot be portrayed as less glorious than a glorious angel. Eyes like fire describe passionate eyes in Greek literature, but they can also depict the supernaturally flaming eyes of divine beings or angels. Glowing metal may also depict God's glory, 
in Ezekiel 127. Ezekiel 127. Now upward from that which appeared to be his waist, I saw something like glowing metal that looked like it was filled with fire all around it. And downward from that which appeared to be his waist, I saw something like fire, and there was a brightness and a remarkable radiance, like a halo around him. Yet other features suggest that while John portrays Jesus' glory as no less than that of an angel, it is certainly more than that of an angel. Ezekiel 43 2 And behold, the glory and brilliance of the God of Israel was coming from the way of the east, and his voice was like the sound of many waters, and the earth shone with his glory. Jesus' title, Someone Like a Son of Man, recalls the figure who would reign as God's agent in. Daniel 7, 13-14, Amplified Bible I kept looking in the night visions, and behold on the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man was coming. And he came up to the Ancient of Days, and was presented before him. And to him, the Messiah, was given dominion, supreme authority, glory, and a kingdom, that all the people, nations, and speakers of every language should serve and worship him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which will not pass away, and his kingdom is one which will not be destroyed. Jesus' face also shines like the sun. Greek text sometimes portrays deities shining like the sun or lightning. Jewish text did the same for angels and others, but also for God himself. Revelation 10.1 Then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, clothed in a cloud with a rainbow, halo over his head, and his face was like the sun, and his feet, legs, were like columns of fire. John then continues in Revelation 1.16. In his right hand he held seven stars, and from his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword of judgment, and his face reflecting his majesty and the Shekinah glory was like the sun shining in all its power at midday. Other deities were portrayed as bearing swords, but this image is an allusion to Isaiah 11.4. Isaiah 11, 4-5, Amplified Bible But with righteousness and justice he will judge the poor, and decide with fairness for the downtrodden of the earth. And he shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. And righteousness will be the belt around his loins, and faithfulness the belt around his waist. Revelation 1, 17 when I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead, and he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last, absolute deity, the Son of God.